Hello, I welcome you all to this wonderful lesson and in this particular lesson, I want to show you how we can balance these chemical equations in an easy way. So we've got hydrogen reacting with chlorine to form hydrogen chloride. So how then do we balance this equation that is here? How can we balance this particular equation? You ask yourself, how many atoms of hydrogens are this side? It's two. How about this other side? It's one. So when I say this other side, what is separating the two is this anode. So I've got my left hand side, right hand side. So this side I've got two, this side I've got one. Chlorine this side two, this side one. What can I do to balance the two? I just have to put a two there. So once I put a 2 there, it means that this equation is balanced. 2 atoms of hydrogen, 2 atoms of hydrogen. 2 atoms of chlorine, 2 atoms of chlorine. So meaning the balance equation is like this. Plus, giving us what? 2 hydrogen chloride. So it means that I've balanced that equation. I move to the next one. I've got hydrogen sulfide plus oxygen to produce water plus sulfur dioxide. So I want to balance this equation. I ask myself, how many atoms of hydrogens are here? Two. This side, two. How about oxygen? Oxygen, this side, two. How about this side? Two plus one, three. What can I do to balance this for me to balance this what i'm going to do get this you ask yourself okay here there is three here there is two so what you are going to do you say what if you put a two here you put a two where you put a two there so when you put a two there meaning atoms of chlorine there are four this side how many are they they are two so you put a 2 here. Once you put a 2 there, I'm showing you how to balance, how to build uh, on the balancing chemical equations. 2, 4. Here for balanced. Sulfur has also been changed. Sulfur here, how many? 2. Here sulfur 1, I put a 2 here. Putting a 2 here has also changed what? It has also changed the, the oxygen atoms. Oxygen, how many? Four plus two, six. Here, two. What can I do to balance this? I just put a three here so that they become six. Six, two times three, six. Two plus four, six. Sulfur, two, sulfur, two. Hydrogen, four, hydrogen, four. It means that. This is a balanced chemical equation. It is two hydrogen sulfide plus three oxygen gas, giving us two water plus two sulfur dioxide. Meaning this is now balanced. This is what you are supposed to do. We move to the last one. How can you balance this? How can you balance this chemical equation that is here? This is phosphorus plus oxygen gas giving us dysphosphorus pentoxide. So this is what is given, pentoxide. So how then do we balance this? The phosphorus 2, phosphorus 1. This one here, 5. Have you seen this one five? Here, this one we've got two. So two, this is two, this is five. So I put a two here so that it becomes ten. Here I put a five. Oxygen is balanced. This is four. I just need to put a four here. I don't know if you've gotten the logic here. This is what you are supposed to do. Meaning it is just four like this plus five giving us 2P2O5. This is balanced. This is how you get to balance. 
So you may not understand this like right now, but the more we practice, the more you become better. So I'm here to help you get a distinction. Those of you that could like to join my online lessons, those of you willing, they, you are a GC candidate or an internal candidate, let's start together. I prepare you for your exams. So this is my WhatsApp number here. Just contact me on this number. I will help you. So this is my WhatsApp number. 0971-066747. I'm here to help you get a distinction. Don't forget to follow me. Don't forget to like this particular video. So this is how you get to balance chemical equations just like this. Thank you so much. Don't forget to follow me. Don't forget to follow me. Follow us on all our social media platforms.